Nito Frito Bandito. Hello, everyone. Welcome to HQ Trivia. I'm your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as the butter that you put on your toast, the one, the only, Money Flippin' Matt Richards. That's right. And it's Monday Movie Trivia Night. Get your popcorn. Get your juju bees. And your, uh, what else? I like to take the popcorn, put little M&M's inside, and then, you know, just eat it. I, when I was in L.A., people took the popcorn and put jalapeno. That's weird. Tonight, we're doing 12 questions all about your favorite rom-coms, babies. Some of the questions tonight are going to be based on video clips. Yeah, so you're going to want to turn up your sound and focus, all right? This is just so you don't miss anything. If you've played before, you already know what's up. The questions start out easy, but they get harder than trying to paint me like one of your French girls. Yeah? You got 10 seconds to tap the right answer. Answer all of them correctly, and you win! Tonight, we got $5,000 up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? Hmm? Y'all know about points, right? You earn points by answering questions correctly, sharing to social from the app. That's, uh, that's the other way you do it. Okay, points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass lets you get a question wrong and stay in the game. The higher your level, the more free passes. You can climb all the way up to level 10, babies. Okay, all the way up to 10. If you hit level 10, that means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the entire season. Yeah! For every point earned by H quizzes, the prize is gonna keep on growing till the season finale at the end of February. And this season, we're giving out more money than we did last season. Let's check in on that prize. Oh! Ho ho ho! Well, would you look at that? $78,977. It's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. Nobody knows how high it's gonna go. You're gonna want an extra life and an eraser, okay? Extra lives keep you in the game after you get a question wrong. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen. You see it? We didn't get it. And uh, erasers eliminate one of the wrong answers, giving you a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Remember, you can only use one of these per game and not on the final round. All right. Now, Valentine's Day is this week. That means you better get your plans set for the big night, okay? We're celebrating all week long. Thursday, put on your fancy lady boots and grab yourself a Cosmo. Yeah, we're doing sex and the city trivia. Are you a Carrie or a Miranda? Find out this Thursday at 9 p.m. Don't miss it, okay? Y'all ready to get this game going? Before we start, I gotta give a quick shout out to my homegirls, Bella, Hanny, and Lord George. Cool. They gave me $30 to do this. I'm kidding. No, they didn't. They, they, they're great people. All right, let's get the game going. Nothing to it but the HQ, and here we go. Question number one. Which of these romantic comedies does not primarily take pay place in America? Sweet Home Alabama, Notting Hill, or Sleepless in Seattle? Hmm? What's it going to be? All right. Well, the answer. Ain't Notting but a Hill thing, baby. Notting Hill, y'all. The other two have places in America in it. Okay, never mind. 354,381 got that right. You're moving on to question number two. Here we go. 10 Things I Hate About You is based on a play by what author? William Shakespeare, Aaron Sorkin, or J.K. Rowling? <laughs> 10 Things I Hate About You, y'all. If you say it fast enough, the movie even sounds like the play. 10 Things I Hate About You and Taming of the Shoe. Yeah, the Seattle-based rom-com stars Julia Stiles as the shrew as definitely Shakespearean. Take a look. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you didn't call. <laughs> but mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> not even at all. Where is my Oscar? That's what I want to know. 275,814 got that right. William Shakespeare. Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, y'all. Let's talk for question number three. Let's go. Who is Kate Hudson's co-star in this movie? Take a look. It will be sort of a 
updating how to in reverse. What not to do. Yeah. How to lose a guy in 10 days. Is it Matthew McConaughey, Gerard Butler, or John Cusack? All right. We gonna see. Lock in your answers. You only got a couple seconds left, y'all. Kate Hudson's co-star in the flick that we just showed you a clip from. Okay, before they teamed up again in Fool's Gold, you could catch Kate Hudson demonstrating how to lose a guy in 10 days with Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. It's dead. No, honey, it's just sleeping. McConaughey, hey, hey. Matthew McConaughey was the answer there. 323,107 of you got that right. It's time for question number four. Ooh wee. Yeah, here we go. In the notebook, Noah tells Allie, if you're a bird, I'm a what? Bird, fish, or worm? The notebook, y'all. I've seen it like four times. Every time I get all, you know, just in my, in my emotions, in my feelings. <laughs> All right, let's be honest. The script didn't try to reinvent the wheel. You know, when it comes to dialogue, especially. And before the movie hits full tearjerker territory, Noah affirms to Allie that if you're a bird, I'm a bird. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. That's smooth. That's real smooth. You can't tell that to no girl from the Bronx. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. You call me a what? First of all, I show you a bird. I show you a bird real quick. And then problems everywhere. Bird was the answer there. 154,717. Shout out to Cardi B for winning at the Grammys last night. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Question number. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Hi, ah, 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 ah. Also, shout out to the person in the chat at the beginning of the game that said, I hope it's not Matt. I will find you, bro. You will catch these hands. I'm not going to fight you. I would never do that. I'm so afraid of violence. Okay. In which of these movies does Julia Roberts get married? My best friend's wedding, Valentine's Day, or Runaway Bride? Hmm? What's it going to be? Julia Roberts getting married in one of these movies. Which one is it, y'all? In my best friend's wedding, Julia tries to stop a wedding, and in Valentine's Day, she mostly just wants to reconnect with her kid. But despite running away from the love a couple times, she ties the knot in the not accurately titled Runaway Bride. Don't. Lock the door! Julia, come back! Where are you going? Dude was like, lock the doors! Don't let her out! That's. Why does the, <laughs> he probably paid for the wedding. 197,377 people just got that. Congratulations, you're moving on to question number six. What unflattering name is Drew Barrymore upset by in The Wedding Singer? Josie Grossi, Julia Gulia, or Jessica Messica? Hmm? All right. I'm not Josie Grossi anymore. That's a fun thing to yell into a mirror. But in The Wedding Singer, it was Julia Gulia that I had you all it's riled nice up. nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. Julia Gulia. Yeah, Mrs. Robbie Hart sounds, uh, sounds so much better, don't you think? 156,102 got that one. Over 100,000 of you thought it was Jose Grossi. And y'all were wrong. Question number seven. Here we go! Which of these tear-jerking dramas is not based on a Nicholas Sparks book? P.S. I Love You, A Walk to Remember, or Nights in Rodanthe? Hmm? Come on now, babies! Alright, Nicholas Sparks always finds a way to keep two soulmates apart and get them back together and then tear them apart again! But P.S. I Love You, about a woman finding her husband's posthumous letters, you know, that's not a Sparks joint. P.S. I love you. 93,208 are feeling great on your way to question eight. Woo woo woo. 
What is Meg Ryan's online alias in this film? I go online. Welcome. Welcome. And my breath catches in my chest until I hear three little words. You got, got mail. Woo! Is it Shop Girl, Austin Fan, or Upper West Sider? Y'all remember AOL, right? All that. I do. Be in the chat room. ASL. What's your ASL? I'm pretty sure I talked to a bunch of 40-year-old creepy dudes, and uh, I'm not proud. I'm not proud of it. They lied to me. Okay, you've got mail reunited the adorable pairing of Meg and Tom Hanks, who found love in an AOL chat room. Tom, under the screen name NY152, and Meg, the bookshop owner, with the extremely appropriate Shop Girl. Shop Girl! Shop Girl, y'all! Yeah! Yeah! Shop girl. 83,704 of you got that one. You move it on to question number nine. Here we go. In which of these films does the lead couple not get married? Crazy Rich Asians, Jerry Maguire, or Sex in the City? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Check it out. Rachel and Nick are attending uh, Nick's best friend's wedding. And he proposes to Rachel, but... They don't tie the knot yet. You know, you gotta save some material for the sequel. Crazy Rich Asians Too Fast Too Asian. But Crazy Rich Asians Tokyo Drift. Crazy Rich Asians Too Reloaded. Crazy Rich Asians was the answer there. 26,090. Got that one right. Congratulations. You're moving on to question number 10. Here we go. In which film does Jennifer Lopez make a stunning interest in a pink dress? Made in Manhattan, The Wedding Planner, or Monster-in-Law? What's it gonna be? J-Lo. Doing that Motown tribute last night. Whew. Still get goosebumps thinking about that Versace dress. Oh, I'm so green. Puerto Rican seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez is always stunning. Everybody knows that. But she's got to have at least one truly draw-dropping moment per film. And in the Cinderella story, Made in Manhattan, she wears a pink dress to the ball. Oh, I wanna spend time in oh my God. Mm. Woo, 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 Got that one right. Made in Manhattan. Waiting for tonight. Oh. When you will HQ on your phone. Waiting for tonight. Oh. Question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. Who crashes their own funeral and deliver us from Eva? Is it Terry Crews, LL Cool J, or Gabrielle Union? Deliver us from Eva, y'all. All right, this character makes a cynical deal to win over Gabby Union in this rom-com. And when she finds out the plan, she's rightfully upset. There's nothing to do but fake your own death and then crash your own funeral. Ladies love cool plans. <laughs> LL Cool J it is, y'all. LL Cool J it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13,774 got that right. But to all of you that were eliminated... I'm sorry to see you go. Don't forget, HQ Words is coming up next right after HQ Trivia. So keep your phone close, all right? It's time for question 12. Woo! Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Woo! Question 12. For all of the marbles, y'all. Here we go. What song introduces Hugh Grant's character in Bridget Jones's Diary? You're so vain, respect, or Mr. Big Stuff? <laughs> What's it gonna be? All right, Hugh plays a cad for the ages in this mega hit. It's a rom-com based on the blockbuster novel, but he would like you to give him just a little bit. Just a little bit. What you want, baby, I got what you want. R-E-F-E-C-T-E. Respect, babies. We got 3,903 winners of HQ Trivia. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Everybody winning. Whoo, from the beginning. Miko, yeah. Sergium, Justin Bieber, Melly V, Ifrayo, Simon Yu, Canonex, House of Hearts, and KCS84. Congratulations to you for winning. Y'all got a dollar twenty-eight. Dollar twenty-eight. Feeling great with a dollar twenty-eight. Yeah. So proud of you guys. Uh congratulations to all three thousand nine hundred and three of our winners. Welcome to the HQ leaderboard. Don't forget, HQ words is just a, a couple seconds away, okay? Don't even lock your phone. Also, come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern for more trivia. And mo money, babies. That's right. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. And remember, the more you play, the more we pay. Parting is such sweet sorrow until we quiz tomorrow.